hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine third person shooter series so in the last episode we worked on this get in hit effect for the character and but we haven't implemented the dying part yet so that's what we are going to do today all right so let me open the character blueprint ch soldier it's this one and where do we implement it get hit it yeah here reaction sand health okay here we played this animation montage and get in hit part but we haven't implemented anything like uh, health for this character so let's go ahead and add a variable I'll call it health it should be in the type of float right so for the default value I'll put 100 okay so now when on bullet hit how should we do this uh, yeah let's set health get the health the the current health value and minus let's say 20 and set it so like this we can reduce health and let's do a branch Now let's do a branch here. If health value is larger than zero, I'll do this part. Um, no, I think I should do it here. So if it is smaller than zero, that means the character should die. So let's enable ragdoll for the character mesh. I'll set the collision preset of this mesh to ragdoll set simulate physics to true and this part should take place only once so I'll add a do once node and we don't have to reset this part and we should all right shall we see what happens now okay all right now character is dead Uh, but the gun is not detached from the character but we will work on that later okay so that part is done 
let's clean up the code a little bit I'll promote this part now I'll comment this part as update health and this part death okay so that's simple and yeah i think this is a good spot to stop this episode so let's uh, also take a quick look at the ragdoll of the character ragdoll means the physics asset now as you can see this physics asset is not good enough because there are so many overlaps and no constraints added that's why it goes it doesn't look very nice when I enable the ragdoll so as a quick fix for that maybe let's select all the this is not a perfect way to do it but I'll just show you I'll select all the constraints so these constraints these are the data structures that defines how much this joint can turn how much at this joint the parts can turn so I'll set all of them to limited and I'll add a value like 5 so it looks like this that is still not realistic let's see how it looks here okay let's quickly do something about the hands ah right there should be another joint in here at the elbow for the left hand and the right hand but we don't have that here so I'll increase this one Yeah, that's enough for now here is the final demonstration so in a in a, another episode I'll fix the characters ragdoll And thank you very much for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link could be in the description below and see you in the next episode and Merry Christmas to you as well